Hey everybody, it's Marty. I'm up at Camp Chief Uray this weekend. It's family camp. We thought this was a great opportunity for a video tour of the brand new dining hall, which will be used for the first time next summer. I'm here with uh, with Mike Ohl, who took my place as Hello, director everybody. at Camp Chief Uray. And he's gonna be our tour for the dining hall, which here we are, check it out. The official name of the dining hall is the Slushman Family Camper Hub. And the hub was meant to represent all the things that happen in the dining hall beyond food, which as you know, is pretty much everything else around camp. So this was a pretty exciting project to be involved in and to finally see it come to fruition with this building that we're hoping to have a certificate of occupancy in the next week or so. Uh, we'll be able to open it up and run some events and things in here in the very near future. And it'll definitely be open for summer 2024. Let's go inside. Let's check it out see what we got here. So as we enter in, you can see this is our main dining space. This will be able to sit between 350 and 390 kids and staff. That's our occupancy for this building. Lots of different little nooks and crannies. Um, just starting here, right inside the door, we've got a little history alcove. So when we think about the spirit sticks, the IT plaques, uh, other kinds of history things, this is the space that it's going to live forever. So we won't have to pack it up, move it out or anything during the off season. Really exciting to have a space to showcase what camp was in the past. Um, more in the corner over here, we'll have a dedicated space for the camp store. And so I see different things happening. We won't necessarily do food, but we might, who knows. Uh, but this gives us some space to expand the store a little bit, get some more merchandise that is keep cheap to remain, and move forward in that space. Right next door, this is our nurse's office. And this will be a place where we can do med administration during the summertime. So during meals, when we have those few kids or more, that need medications during meals, they can just pop right over and grab it and go back to um, back to their cabin without having to send a group of people over to the cookie jar. This is pretty cool. It's got its own dedicated bathroom space as well. I like that. I'm sure Gretchen has some opinions about that as well. Yeah, she's <laughs> been great in giving feedback. Awesome. The front of the dining hall here, heading up against the kitchen, you can already see the drink bib in place. We'll also have a couple salad bars up in the front here that will allow kids to rotate through. And then when we get down to the far corner, we've got bathrooms and it'll include a universal family bathroom and a couple different things. So this allows us to have the space for the kids that we're serving now. We can fit everyone in camp in this building right now. Eventually we plan to grow to 510 kids a week. And that's a lot of kids to feed at once, which gives us a good kitchen space, which we'll walk through here in a second. So, Mike, I have to ask, this is a really big space. Yeah. And I know in the current space, it's really hard to hear announcements. How will you hear announcements in this space? We will have a dedicated speaker system built into the building, which if you look up, you got a speaker right above you. And these are spread throughout the building and on the porch area. We'll have speakers outside for those who are sitting on picnic tables outside. Uh, but the microphone system will allow us to do the announcements. Now, the other question is the way the sound vibrates around the room. Uh, we've got soundproofing boards up in the ceiling behind those boards that are up there. That'll help a little bit. And then we're also looking at other pieces like artwork that can be printed on soundproof boards and things like that to help cut down on the noise bouncing around. Because even with the soundproofing board in the ceiling with 400 people in this space, there's no way it's not gonna be loud. Gotcha. All right, should we check out the kitchen? Yeah, this is pretty exciting. For those of who have been in the kitchen, there's our dish room. So hoppers will take the trays of dirty dishes and drop them off here. This will be the- Make sure it's all locked up, please. Yeah. This will be our main entrance into the kitchen area. So you can see where they can pick up trays, uh, still serving family style still see that happening and one of the things we've talked about quite a bit is once we 
start living in the space, that's when we're going to really figure out how it's going to work the best. Well, yeah, let's go into the kitchen area. And I'm going to let the picture speak on this. I might have to talk a little bit just because <laughs> I've told multiple people this weekend that I'm really jealous that uh, I never had an opportunity to be in this space, but hot food will go out here. But look at all the prep space and the holding space on the line here. Uh, pass through window from the uh, cooking space back there, the dish room. So all the clean dishes will go there. Dishwasher. I mean, this is a giant space compared to what we've had for years. So based on our current kitchen footprint, I often joke around that the dish room is the size of our current kitchen. It's pretty accurate. It feels pretty accurate. This is great. It is a space that's been needed for a number of years. Get into the hot prep areas. So much prep space. Love it. Dry storage. And this is a pretty ingenious piece. They, they've done some work in here. They've, they've had to move the, the racks out, but you can see they're on wheels, so we can actually move these things around once they get the rack system back up. And it allows us to have more storage space for dry goods, which is really, I, I mean, if you think of the dungeon, this is replacing the dungeon. And then two walk-ins for refrigeration. Not freezer, there's a different walk-in for that. <laughs> more cook space, this is more of our steamers and uh, we're getting tilt skillets and kettle steamers and equipment I've never seen used. Yeah, look at it's that. It's pretty exciting. Is that a fryer? Is that that's is? a tilt skillet. That's a tilt skillet. Yeah, this is the kettle steamer. So if you think about making rice for 700 people, we can make a lot of rice or soup. Wow. Um, and then I think, did you tell me this area over here was gonna be specific to allergen prep? I believe so. It's either this out here or what's behind you. Uh, I'm not sure how they'll set it up, but I'm gonna have someone smarter than me in the kitchen really walk through and tell us how this might work <laughs> best. And then ice machine. Office space for the kitchen manager. And then, <laughs> speaking of the dungeon, this will be the prep space for all the pack out meals for backpacking trips, rafting trips. IT programs. Mm -hmm which allows us quick access to vehicles because then we can just take it right out to the door to a parked van that's getting ready to take off to Rocky Mountain National Park or yes. Tetons or Surf and Turf. And here's my favorite part of this space is in here, there will be a dedicated washer and dryer for the entire dining hall. So you don't have to send your dirty rags up to Snow Mountain Ranch anymore and wait for them to come back. Such great space. And then we mentioned walk-in freezer. Be back over this way. Oh, just go there. Look at that. It's like three times as big as the current one. And then we have the new super secret bathroom. That's where I would hide out if I didn't want people to ask me any more questions. <laughs> and then what is this staff lounge this area? Is a lounge area, yeah. Be great. And just for those who know the history, this was first dreamt of in 2003. Yeah, I think that's right. Somewhere in there. So this is literally a 20-year project finally coming to life. With lots of people who worked on this, uh, between the CEO, Julie Watkins, all the way down to the camp seasonal staff who are collecting stories for the donors to tug at their heartstrings a little bit to build this space and allow us to expand 
what we're able to do in terms of food. Yeah, talk about it for a long time. It's really hard to believe that it's actually coming to fruition. And the tour would not be complete without this. So we envision about 15 picnic tables out here for the IT programs, or if we do any changes to the horse program and make it more immersive, you know, we don't want the smell in there. So mm -hmm. they might sit outside. Yeah, so huge patio space for picnic tables, outdoor dining space. And of course you have the iconic view. Well, Mike, thanks for taking us on the tour. Uh, thank you all. I hope as alumni, you appreciate this and uh, know that this is built for our next generation of campers. So as we look forward to what the future holds, this will help us in terms of growth and opportunity. And just as we live into this space, it's also going to start looking a little different too, <laughs> which is always interesting to think about. Well, and so, you know, speaking of that, in addition to the hub there's new camper villages if alumni are interested in coming up and seeing camp maybe getting a tour what would your recommendation be on how Absolutely. to do something like that it would be calling the camp office trying to set that up and we can work around your schedule so if it's on weekends we can make that happen uh, if the camp staff aren't available uh, i'll definitely be the one jumping in to help with that but we want to show off this space this is because of all of you that we're able to do something like this, all the great work that you've done. So definitely call the office and, or even email the chief URA at ymcarockies.org to set something up because email gets checked off and more often than <laughs> phone messages, but we'll, we'll get back with you. Great. All right, well, thanks so much. And for all of you alumni, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you soon.